And again, this is dealing with your component form. And then we talked about component form. That's going to kind of um, standardize our direction of our vectors. right? Rather than having eight different vectors up here, all the vectors are going to go on the initial point. So since they're equal, if they all have the initial same point, they're all going to have the same, have the same terminal point. right? Does that make sense? That's why it's helpful to standardize this. So now let's go and look at, well, how can we then make sure that their magnitudes are going to be, or their uh, distances are going to be equal? Well, if I want to find the magnitude of p over q, we write it kind of with this double brackets. All right. So the magnitude is going to be pretty much if you guys look at the distance formula. And if you guys remember the distance formula, the distance formula is the square root of your change in x coordinate squared plus your change of y coordinate squared. So it looks something like this. And this is from your guys' lovely geometry teachers. Taught you the distance formula, right? No? Right? OK. The distance formula is q1 minus p1 squared plus q2 minus p2 squared. All right. If you're dealing with coordinate points on an x and y plane, it's the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Right? But now we're dealing with our q's and p's because that's what our directional line segment is. Yes? So if you know what the v1, v2 is, then you can just plug it into that. Right? Too smart for this class. Yes. So what exactly you notice is, what is this? It's just v1, right? So I'm going through a lot of crazy stuff right now, but what you guys should notice is, I just want to present this to you, but yeah, v1 plus, it's really v1 squared plus v2 squared. The thing I have to go and show you, though, is I have to show you why, how we get v1 and v2. We get v1 and v2 by finding the change in our initial and our terminal points, right? Because if we don't find the initial change in our terminal points, then you can't find v1 and v2. A lot of problems, though, you're going to be given v1 and v2. So all you're going to have to do is plug them in, right? So, and that's going to equal your magnitude. So this is equal to the magnitude. Or, that's not an E. Or, typically, just the length of your segment. Cool? Like that? I know. I do have to love that. OK. Um, here's one of the very common questions that somebody asked me.